So this section now is my bag that goes round the bag and, and that's that. So what I need now is the section here that goes here but that section is in two pieces. Why is it in two pieces? Because I've got to put the zip in. So I'm going to, you have to make that bigger. So if this is five inches, then the width of the next one is going to be five, add on one and a half inches. So let's make it five, six, make it seven inches. That should do it. So I'm gonna cut it again, but from here now, I measure this section here. And once again, that is 34 inches long. So that section is longer or shorter. So this section now, which is the section going around here, is going to be 34 inches long and then I'm going to make it seven inches wide. So the, that's on top, so seven inches wide is roughly that. That will allow for my, that's enough for putting the zip in. So there's a dotted line again. I follow the dotted line. Now don't forget, I'm cutting this in one at the moment, but I actually need two pieces. So, did I do? has a similarity to something else. Now this reminds me of making cushion covers for those fixed chairs. It look, it's the same principle. So, right. So let's put that back there. put that on top there I can see roughly that's the nip I think one of my problem with this camera switching off and on is because of the maybe I'm jerking the table as well so maybe that's one of the problem anyway just to give you enough rough idea That's the fold for the set. Ricky, I do hope you make this bag. Right, so we've got one, two, three, this section. So now what are we missing? We need the strips for the shoulder strap and we need the strips for the actual bag to carry it. So I like to double that up and make it nice and thick. So if I have it around that thick, which is one and a half inches roughly, then one and a half inches double times three, so, one and a half, that's three, four, four and a half. So, my flap are both going to be four and a half inches. So, let's just cut, cut one out, and that will be times two. So, 
Let me just move this for a sec. What did I say? Four and a half inches. Let's just go five. That'd be easier. Five inches. It's what I said. It's your handbag. You can do what you like. So now this bit here is going there. Is the bag. there's the bag and these are going in the bag there so you've got that amount of space to hold it but I don't think that's enough so I think I'll cut this out again and make it a bit taller so how tall was that that was there I think I shall make this much taller so let's do that So this is the strap, and when I make the strap, um, I fold it in, let me see now, let's do it this way. So we fold it, I'm going to fold it in half. which is my belt, no, it's my whatever, and then what I do again is I fold this section in again, and folding this in, this looks quite skinny, but it's going to have to do, so you can make it fatter, by the time I cut it out, I can cut it out fatter if I want. Difficult working with paper, but so be it. Right, so that is how I make my belts. And I thicken it up. And that section now will go in here. Now this looks a bit too long now, but don't forget, it's got to go, it, you've got to be able to hold it over the five inches so I can adjust this afterward I will adjust this because it now looks a bit too tall okay so I'll deal with that later so I've got to do this is times two again cut times two and now we actually need the belt to go all the way around that bag and that belt is going to be a lot longer and it's going to be adjustable so what I shall do is take the width of that paper and cut it and I think I will make it a lot fatter than this one right so that's what I'm going to do so that was five inches so I'll make this um, I'll make it 8 inches seems quite a lot for a belt 
but it's got to take the weight of everything so that was five inches five and the end result that was one inch one. So if I make it two inches, two, four, six, yeah, eight inches it is. So there we are. Using the dotted paper cross. I shall cut my belt out. And then I will see if all this fits on my fabric. That's a very long belt, it, it really doesn't need to be that long. Yeah, it's very long. I'm going to cut it down because I haven't got that much fabric, so let's just cut it down a bit. Right, let's summarise. Now here is my pattern pieces. Now I've got one, two, three, four, A and four B, five, six. I've got six pieces here, but at the same time, six, I've got to cut two pieces here making seven, and I've got to cut another piece here making eight. So I think that's it. Now of this, I've got to cut a lining for this one, the same, a lining for this one, the same, which is times four, right? So I've got two sides and then I've got the lining, which is... And I've got the lining here for the bottom of the bag and um, because the lining mimics the bag. And if you want, you could make pockets in the lining as well and put zips in it. So that's something you can add and make the inside of the bag a bit more interesting. But for today, we're concentrating on just the outside. So here we have it. Now, I didn't cut any strips for the piping because it's gonna be hit and miss whether I have uh, fabric left over for the piping so anyway this is this right and then we're going to test it all out so this goes here this goes around the bag there so you can see how thick my bag is when it stands up so when you look at it on the floor it'll be like that that's my bag the thickness of the bag so that goes around there the, the zip bits goes on the top and at the moment this bit here at the moment is a little bit tall and I purposely did that 
right because I want a lot of it to go inside the fabric to strengthen and thicken up the bag so that's going to go inside so it's going to overlap on this and then uh, my straps which is times two goes there and then this is the belt that goes around the whole thing to carry it on your shoulder now let's see if it actually fits on the fabric that I've actually got certainly doesn't look like it's going to fit. If it doesn't, I've got to improvise somehow. most important parts are these and this zip so those fit on the bag this strip my belt I'm going to have to make it skinnier and fit it on there somehow. Let's see if we move everything up. And this is the belt for... Oh, I haven't got the bottom of the bag. Right. What do we do without? We're going to do without this one here. And then I'm going to buy some fabric. The cheap old fabric and make the belt with that. Um, but it's important. Ah, I only need one bit for the bottom of the bag. This is the bottom of the bag. All right. I don't need to cut four of these. So what I'll do is eliminate one. So that stays there. And because the fabric's double, that now gives me that. So that's fitted. Let's squeeze it up. Uh, let me see now. If I turn that that way, it takes less room. Uh, and it's nice to get them the same way, actually. Uh, and that's going on top of that. But it does. Alright, and this I need times two. So I'm going to have to make this strap skinnier so I can get two here. This is, this is the belt. This is the strap. So it fits. Job done. So I've got this space here. Now this bit here, yeah, I can get that from here. So I've got that. So I've got everything. Have I? Yeah. Got everything. Where's the belt? That, there's the belt. Got everything. So it fits on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some lining and I'm going to put the, put the lining on top and cut everything at the same time. So now I've got to do some shopping or find some zip. Zip long enough to go there and I've got everything else. And then I'll cut it out. I've never made a handbag like this before in my life. But when you look at something you always say, I can do that. I can do this. I can do that. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we're going to laugh about this. Or is um, um, or it's going to look good. Um, you be the judge of that. I'll have an handbag at the end of it. Tune in for part two.